In this video I'm going to explain how you can make a grayscale color wheel in Procreate. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And I discovered something uh, by making a mistake. Um, I've made a brush set which also comes with uh, watercolor papers and the brush set is available on my Gumroad. It's called the Stave Procreate water set and in the set there are uh, several different uh, watercolor papers and to create these watercolor papers I used Photoshop and I wanted the watercolor papers to be neutral so I set everything to grayscale but I exported all of the files as an RGB file except for one and that's the 4k um, watercolor paper and I got a question from uh, Bill Booz who uh, bought uh, the watercolor set he says Steve just tried the medium rough watercolor 4k papers but the canvas color profile is set to generic gray gamma 2.2 and I see no way to change it I wanted to try that panoramic format with watercolors color any suggestions so I checked it out and you know I can you know figure out what was happening but what I did was when I created the watercolor paper in Photoshop I accidentally set it to grayscale so when you now uh, import a grayscale uh, image into Procreate and I'm just going to show you um, just going to uh, import it from the files app but you can also import uh, a grayscale picture from uh, the photos app but I'm just going to import it from uh, the files app it's the Stave cold press medium 4k so when you import the paper and check the color profile you can see that it's now totally in grayscale. So I thought, well, I found something new, you know, that you can, you know, paint or have um, a color mode in grayscale in Procreate. So I think they're working on uh, a color mode like that, but uh, you can, you know, paint with it, you know, just with, with grayscale, but there's a little catch to it. So. Uh, I tested it out of course and when you you know pick another color and you know the color wheel is still in black and white but when you use another color from uh, from your palettes and you know check your layers you can see that it turns green and you know that's not what you really want. So you can use the uh, color wheel, but you know when you want to export it as a grayscale, uh, the best thing you can do is take your layer and then go to adjustments and then press on use saturation brightness and turn down your saturation and when you now export it, I'm just going to export it as a, a JPEG and save it to my images and you check it out, you can see that it is exported as a grayscale but it's actually a, an RGB file because um, in Procreate you can only choose between RGB, sRGB or CMYK colors. So. I just, you know, discovered this by Bill Booz and thanks for the question. Uh, I'm gonna change um, that one uh, paper to an RGB so that you can import it. There's another way around it. First create a 4K size uh, paper and then, you know, you can import it from your files app. Now you can see if you check your color wheel that it is RGB. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I just found something out but it's not really working but 
was interesting to see um, the color wheel in black and white or a grayscale uh, color wheel in Procreate. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!